Oh, man. I had hopes earlier this year. Call up all the boutique high-end gaming PC companies and ask them for their best system. Then take them all and benchmark them against the high-end Dell. Well, the Dell dropped out because basically... Not because they had any problems with their testing, but you know what? Because they're waiting a week to ship these systems, which are all based on the new 800 megahertz Canterwood, formerly codenamed Canterwood systems. We spent last week hours arguing over these systems. Tech TV Labs technical analyst Robert Heron led the charge on the benchmarks. He's here to fill in the details. Now, we should, should we identify each of these first? Well, it'd be pretty easy for at least one of them. <laughs> When you say Alienware, right? Which one would you think? <laughs> yeah, we pull back. The, you, yeah, the Alienware, the Alien head in there, and it looks Area like an HR M. Giger yeah, kind of monster. Definitely. I mean, they redesigned it simply because, in my opinion, they had to. Everyone was uh -huh. copying the Antic case design that pretty much everyone stole, and it's a very popular case right. in its own right. But this really does. When you say Alienware, this is definitely that's what it looks like. And the company is becoming known for custom painting. I don't know if you can see. If as we turn this, it should shift color like that. It's like a House of Ooh. Color chameleon paint, Falcon Northwest Mach. Five, yeah. which is coming in in a whopping, the Voodoo PC F class, which is coming in a whopping, I believe, is it $4,500? Uh, for this one, it's about 4500 bucks. It about really depends on, bucks. you know, the drive options and things like that. <laughs> Finally, over here, ultra high-end. Ultra high-end. Literally, okay, this is the, the Voodoo Money, PC. no object PC right there. Is it F class, they call it? The F class, the F550 from Voodoo. Now, the biggest thing about this is, is okay, case windows were a little bored by it, but if you can see inside of there, it has the most neatly laid out cables in the they history. They don't even use the rounded cables with Voodoo PC. They stick with the flat cables, and they fold them with a true origami specialist. Who it's incredible. Tucks them away nicer, nicer than, you know, most definitely nicer than the room I put it in. So. Yeah, <laughs> one of the great. Without a doubt, though, all five, it's pretty much money is no object for the reason is that so anything you want in them. Three thousand dollars for the yeah, Alienware. Roughly. How much roughly. for the? Depending on the paint it? and the internals and the guts of the system, mm -hmm. you can anywhere from three thousand on up. This okay. particular model is about forty-five, forty-six hundred dollars. And you're talking about a thousand dollars for the paint here, give or take. Pretty close to it. Actually, the you can get just about any graphic on shot mm -hmm. on the outside of this for four hundred dollars. Okay. So that's a four hundred dollar option just for painting alone. And the price on the. For that, the for case the itself, well, that, that comes in right at $5,000 as it sits right there for just the case. Wow. Now, here's the fun <laughs> part. Now, what, what, was the, what was the estimated price on the, on the Dell? We're not allowed to show today. Oh, about $3,000. Okay. okay. In there. So we got $3,000 to about $5,000 for each of these systems. Unreal Tournament 2003. Uh, every benchmark we threw at it, OpenGL Gaming, Direct 3D Gaming, mm -hmm. like uh, 3D Mark, um, or to, uh, uh, like I said, Unreal Tournament right. 2003, less than 2%. Right. Statistically insignificant. Yeah, you know, the margin of statistical insignificance. Nothing you're ever going to feel. So basically, why is it? Are, these are all using the same processor, motherboard, and same memory, processor. and graphics card. Motherboard, amount of memory, type of memory, sound card. Mm -hmm. And in particular, with these three, they're using the exact same motherboard as well. So okay. in a sense, what you're paying for is a lot of extras in terms of what components do you want to put in there? Do you want the best DVD burner? Do you want two of them? Do you right. want the fastest hard drive in existence? Do you want ID, a couple of hard those? drives, serial yeah. ATA hard drives, serial ATA, serial ATA hard drives, 10,000 RPM ATA hard drives, things like that. Now, this, what's the biggest difference? You obviously tested last in the last couple of weeks. You've also tested this particular 3 gigahertz processor versus the 3.06 gigahertz. The new processor running on an 800 megahertz front side bus, previously running at 533. Big difference, small difference, Not insignificant really. difference. It, it, actually, the bottleneck switching back to the video card again. We're okay. hitting a point where, at least in terms of ATI, which these all use ATIs, Radeon uh, 9800 Pro, the 128 meg card, they all seem to hit right about the same mark and stop. So mm -hmm. maybe that's a, a new sign that the video cards need to kick it up a notch again to keep up with the latest and greatest in processors. Okay. But in general, hey, you know what, whether you build your own or you buy the best, if you're using the same components, you're going to get the same benchmark scores, generally right. speaking. And what it comes down to, what really differentiates the Differenti these, differentiates excuse me, these computers from something you would build yourself mm -hmm. is the, po the quality of the parts that go in for number right. one, how it's put together, and everything from how Windows is laid on top of that to the, what applications would be running in the background when you first fire it up. How about service Very and clean. support? I mean, service obviously, these are stripped-down systems, right? There's no office on these systems. No, no office. And when you load it up next to the clock, there's not going to be a six or ten icons from various applications that had to be so loaded on in order to get you the price. Yeah, you're getting the best you can get right there. And on top of it, when they ship it to you, uh -huh. it is ready to go. It is ready to be abused. And at the same time, it can be reset to its current condition in a matter of minutes. They provide you with huge amounts of documentation. Oh, of course. I, oh, here we go. When you buy a big system. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Watch as he comes back out of here. Let's see what you get here. 
Now, this is a sign that the service and support for these systems are going to be a little... I, I mean, yeah, you've, you've seen the you paper orders. You buy a Voodoo orders, PC, you buy a $5,000 PC. They give you the book in yeah. terms of I mean, every it's vital, bit of it's not information. Leather, but this is, yeah, this is all of the information for this system. I mean, this is out of control. So are you getting better service and support? Do you get a special tech support line? or? Well, in the case of, say, Voodoo, you get what they call limited or lifetime upgrade insurance or assurance is actually right. how they put it. What that means basically is down the road, if you ever want to change anything inside of it, they will take it back. They will sell you the parts at wholesale. They will upgrade right. it for you, re-image it, send it back to you, yada, yada, yada. You get a lot of great service features like that. You get people also that specialize in building gaming machines. They're not here to build you the fastest office machine. Right. They're not here to make sure that you know, uh, you're know you going to have the latest this and that. It's really, how fast can we run the games? Will they run the latest games? Do I have all the latest features that I need? Okay, so like, in terms of that, you have a lot of style that goes into all of these systems, too. Okay, let's see if I get this straight. First of all, primary difference between these is basically the look. Definitely. If you're willing to buy the, which motherboard are inside of these? Uh, the 875P. 875P motherboard, the Canterwood chip, uh, the 3 gigahertz, 800 megahertz chip, and the 9800. You're going to get pretty much the same exact performance on these. Pretty much. If you build it yourself? Same thing. And you know what? It's we good. got a poll online. They're pretty. Or Look they're scary. Rescue, rescue DVD. This is so scary. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Our distinguished uh, lab rat, Robert Heron, Lawson Wong, thank you for running the benchmarks. You can find his full analysis, not to mention how he tested these systems. Plus, we want you to vote for which system you think looks the best. It's all coming. Well, you know what? Go to the screensavers.com. Do us a favor, vote. We want to know what you think about these systems. Or if we should never show pretty systems again. They're delicious.